You know, if there's anything that this ban list has done, it has made me and the Ultra Ball hard. Yeah, that's, that's all I got for you. This is a good looking Ultra Ball. Try to relax your anus, your shoulders. Did you like that image? I know you did because I've been bleeding subscribers probably because no one likes the Ultra Ball, but he's super soft and he's super friendly and he's all the way from, you know, New York from the Nintendo store. So I have an Ultra Ball, which means you need to throw your Pokeball to evolve it into an Ultra Ball at the subscribe button so that we can all be aroused together because this ban list is incredible. And we're going to talk about the top five best decks of the format now that the ban list is here. So these are in no particular order, by the way. Um, so just throwing that out there. At number five, I have Flunderies. Now, Flunder has pretty much moved from the tier 1.5 to tier 1 category because pretty much everything around it got worse, but yet it stayed the same and it can also play Change of Heart. Um, which, of course, every other deck can, but now we can play Change of Heart to take your monster and tribute it. I say we, and I'm not even playing Flunder anymore because I got tired of playing that fucking deck. So, yeah, Flunder is definitely coming in at a number five because it's just still a really solid deck. M-Pin and Barrier Statue is still really, really good. Um, if, if you are a fan of Flunder, Flunder is still going to be good. At number four, I have Sword Soul. So Sword Soul lost the desk bot 001. They didn't really lose Halky Fibrax because the bitch is still at one. Aurora Dawn is banned, so they lost those shenanigans. So if you're a Sword Soul player, you're pretty much just going to go back to playing Sword Soul how you played Sword Soul when it first came out. And maybe you play the Adventure Package, which they probably won't because the Adventure Package just proved to not really be all that good. Um, so you lost some shenanigans, but you're still a good deck. You know, that's one thing that the ban list really didn't do a whole lot of, which, I mean, granted, it makes sense because Sword Soul is a fairly new deck. Same with Flunder, um, that it didn't shake up those decks. You know, what was Tier 1 last format? It's still the same Tier 1 minus based and Flunderies. Or... Not Flunderies, minus base and Prank Kids. What am I talking about? Um, minus those two decks, everything is still tier one, which leads me into number three. Number three is going to be Branded. Um, Branded is honestly going to probably be the best tier one deck in the meta because it just did not get touched at all. And now you have the Alba Renatus. Um, yeah, Alba Renatus is amazing against Dragon Link. Like, Dragon Link is not a tier one deck anymore. I saw someone comment on someone else's video saying, yeah, my Dragon Link deck now went from tier 1.5 to tier 2 because that card is just an instant out to Dragon Link. And when you have a card like that, especially when it's in the extra deck, that is can be contact views at any time. I mean, it's it's like having a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon for Cyber Dragons, but now it's for Dragons. You can't compete with that. That's just so, so amazing. You know, it's not like you can negate it. You know, the Dragon Link player is going to have to play like Dimension Barrier or something and call Fusion to lock them out of the Renatus for the turn. So, you know, that's something that you need to keep in mind. Um, coming in at number two, I have Phantom Knight. Now, Phantom Knight is definitely the worst of the tier one. And honestly, I would argue that it's maybe not even tier one now because of the fact that it lost Anaconda and it needed that to go for DPE or Dragoons. However, at the end of the day, I think it's at least an honorable mention due to the fact that when it pops off, it really pops off and the boards it can make are very good. Um, I think that it's something that should still be respected and something that you should be aware of. Um, you know, again, sad to say that a lot of the top decks are still going to be good. You know, that's kind of the sad reality with this format, but we have a few other cards to play with. Uh, honorable mention here has to go to Therion. And Therion, I think, has a lot to prove for itself. I said that before in my uh, tier list video. Um, and I also talked about, too, how ABC Therion is a really, really good deck. I've seen some of the combos that it can do, and I would play that deck, but I haven't played ABC in years, and I would rather go with something that I know works 
which in this case is going to be branded. And I think that a lot of players are going to do that, especially going into Hartford and also regionals this upcoming weekend on the 21st. You know, are people going to flock to Therion's slash Therion ABC, whether it's a pure build or the ABC build, to play a deck that hasn't really proven itself and that may not get them the results that they want, no matter how much they've play tested, you know, things can brick. Do they want to take a risk going in with that surprise factor or do they want to say, no, I'm going to play a deck where I know I can beat the mirror match. I am going to play branded. I am going to use the deck that is the best deck right now. And I think that that's what a lot of people have to kind of debate with themselves right now. I'm debating myself with that right now. I'm like, do I want to play branded or do I want to play pure theory on, you know, because I feel like I'm pretty decent with branded, but I have a lot to learn because I've been playing flunder for so long. I know the choke points of branded, but I don't know all of the intricacies of the deck. Um, so that's something I'm asking myself right now as I'm going into regionals because I have a regional on the 11th of June and the 19th, and it takes a couple weeks for cards to get here whenever you order them through TCG player. So I feel like Therion may be more of a sleeper and something that is worth mentioning, um, but may not necessarily be a top five. And it really just depends on what happens in the meta. So we talked about the stuff that's we already know about. Branded, Flunder, Sword Soul, um, all of that stuff. Uh, for the number one, I got to give it to Eldritch. Now, before y'all start disliking and hating on me and all this other shit, hear me out. Make your tits calm. Make them calm. Make them soft like the Ultra Ball. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Eldritch is such a good control deck, right? It has so many different variations. You can play branded Eldritch. You can play Cybers Eldritch. There are so many different ways to play this deck, and in the hands of a very good player who knows what they're doing, this will be a very good deck. It may not necessarily be Tier 1, but is it Tier 1.5? Yes. It is the best trap-heavy stun deck in the meta right now. You know, it's it has completely power power creeped, <laughs> I had to think of the word, and eclipsed the former best trap deck in Altergeist. There's no contest. Eldritch is an amazing grind deck. It can grind so much better than any other deck right now. And I've even seen some people online talking about how they want to try and tech in a copy of Time Seal in their Eldritch deck so that if they end up getting the opponent down to basically like top decking in the grind game, you just play Time Seal. They can't draw and then you just beat them from there. Now, obviously, a deck like Eldritch, with it playing so many traps, can suffer from issues of bricking. However, you do have the Eldritch cards, the Elixirs, and the uh, Golden Land cards to help with that. But those can only help so much, and you prefer to have something like Scarlet Sanguine to get you to that Golden Lords that you can use Conquistador to pop a card. Um, but I still think it's something that's worth mentioning because it's just so malleable. Um, whether you're playing the Cybers engine or Branded engine, what have you. Um, it's something that should be respected. The same goes for Therions too. You know, you can, like I profiled on my channel, you can play pure Therion with a branded engine. There's so many different ways to go about it. So guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments of this uh, top five video. Do you think I'm wrong? Do, you, am I, do I not know what I'm talking about? Um, please let me know. Did I miss something? I'm also pretty tired today too. So maybe I could have missed something. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.